What does an operator need in order to do business? To start with, customers and a market to serve, of course. That means a geographical area with people living in it. And this area needs to be covered by a network. And today, more than 40% of the world's mobile traffic goes through Ericsson Networks. But what do operators need to do to make their business a success? Control costs? Find new sources of revenue? Provide a better customer experience? Well, the answer is yes, all of these things, in fact. And they all come together in the processes and systems that keep an operator's business in business. Operations support systems, and business supports systems, or OSS and BSS. One thing we've learned about telecom over the past 130 years is that it is always evolving. So working with OSS and BSS means always adapting, changing, fine-tuning, improving and updating. It means knowing exactly what's going on from one end to the other, through all the network elements. And it's not just in mobile networks, but all the parts, fixed and mobile, that make up the networked society. A network needs to be planned in order to work at its best. It may need to cover mountains, forests, lakes, small towns and big cities in order to reach every customer. And then the network needs to be built. And then once it's built, someone decides to construct eight new skyscrapers and a business park and a football stadium in the city. So even after the network has been planned and built, there's optimization, a process that never really ends. Getting people started using all the things the network society can offer, like calling, texting, watching news, twittering and so on, on all sorts of devices, fixed and mobile, in all kinds of locations, well, that's called fulfillment. This involves getting all the different parts of the network, delivered by different vendors and all those services, to work together, to communicate. Then imagine that suddenly, for some unexpected reason, a base station goes down. These guys here, in the Network Operations Center, can pick up the slightest disturbance in the network. Their role in the chain of operations is called assurance. We call all of this OSS. But operators also need to make money. It is a business after all. They need revenue management. So to look after the girl with a postpaid subscription and the guy with a prepaid card, there have to be mechanisms for billing and charging in place. These ensure that customers pay the correct rate for different services at different locations at different times. For example, if a customer has used up all the data he's paid to receive, the data rate automatically drops. The subscriber gets a notification and an invitation to purchase more data at a higher speed. When customers need to get a hold of their operator, maybe to change their address or ask a question or report a fault, well, they need to turn to customer support. Applications to handle this dialogue are called Customer Relationship Management, or CRM. All these systems, the ones that are looking after the business, are referred to as BSS. Ericsson has been doing all of this for operators for 130 years, but the complexity and the scale of today's multi-vendor networks and service offerings are staggering. Enormous volumes of data need to be processed, analysed and translated into ways to improve the customer experience. And with 50 billion connected devices expected around the world by 2020, well, let's just say it won't get any easier. A handful of brilliant engineers in a room full of maps. That's how network planning was handled 25 years ago. Today, it's all automated. The systems and applications constantly being optimised to handle problems in the networks. The main focus of network operation centres used to be keeping base stations up and running, while today they focus more on the actual services passing through the network. So these days, they're often referred to as service operation centres. Customers calling for support don't want to wait for answers on why something isn't working or how much data they're allowed to download or to find out about their invoices. Operators need to have complete end-to-end -end overviews and control of the information in real time they need to have answers ready before the customers even call customer support. OSS and BSS. It's about finding the best ways to run a network and the best ways to run the business. For Ericsson, it means having complete and constant overview. For operators, it means Ericsson helping them improve their bottom line. And for customers, in the end, well, it's all about creating a better experience.